How well does this push to start work? Incredibly well. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I would thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update on the the 10th gen the 10th gen gaming monster. Boy, this thing has had a lot of little weird hiccups. Um uh, there's just been a couple little issues along the way. Of course, when you are trying to do a fully custom built loop, you will run into problems, especially when you want to start modding like when you want to add a power push to power button which or a power button whatever you want to call it that can be kind of a, a horrible task at hand because it doesn't fit in there so what you have to do is you have to do some serious modification I also wanted to run another radiator at the top here but unfortunately the way that these holes are lined up they, it, it, is, it doesn't fit right. Um, it throws it way off. There's my power switch. Um, as you can see down in there, I actually had to cut away some of the frame to make room for that to actually fit. And then also like in the back here, you see we had to cut the horizontal bars out so we can put the vertical GPU bracket in. My power lights uh, that run underneath the frame that's what this goes to. That just kind of hangs out the back. Um, you won't see that because the power club, the power cables, and everything else run out that way. So you would really only see the front or the side. One of the things that I did, and I'm hoping that it doesn't come out looking like shit, was that I took a vertical GPU bracket, cut it off, and then mounted it to here. And when, and then I ran the wire through the back side of it out through the end down there. So that way, when you turn the system on, this will light up blue. And it kind of has a virtue that it looks crooked, but it's not. I even put a level or to it. Here is the back side of the case. This is all the wires and stuff. I haven't yet done any of the cable management. I'm still working on running the sleeves through. Um, I think in an earlier video, we talked about that I couldn't run a, I couldn't run my sleeve extensions for the CPU because I didn't have the correct cable count but it doesn't matter because look you can't even see it see what I mean it's way up there in the corner tucked in it's alright although speaking of cable management I think I have done an excellent job of cable managing that oh yes very nicely done um, but anyway moving on the the issues that I ran into was was just crazy like this radiator None of the holes line up in the radiator mounting position. None of them. Unless you had a 480 rad. If you had a 480 millimeter rad, it would fit perfectly. But I only have a 360. So I had to be chosy of where I wanted it. Did you want the radiator to sit way at the bottom? Or is it going to sit way at the top? I only had one or two choices. I wanted it to be nice and leveled in the middle. But that's not going to happen. So unfortunately, we only have four of the, what, two, four, we only have four out of the other four bolts. So it takes eight bolts all the way around to hold it properly to the frame. We only got four installed. And then on top of that, the fans that went in, the fan mounting brackets did not line up. So I actually had to modify it to get it to work. And I am so good at it that you can't even tell that I did it. I've already started to do the plumbing. As you can see, we have our drain valve installed with the other valve that's going to run up, come in, connect, 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 go back out, connect. I've even considered running a second pump in the system to go from there. I don't know. I've got a lot to do. You can see i got one hell of a mess in front of me right now. Um, I've already started t uh, tube bending, I got all my fittings out, made sure all the fittings were good, went from there. One of my under, this is one of the, uh, the calf flow lights that I have. I have two of these underneath there to give the underground illumination. Well look, see that? The damn thing cracked in half on me. 
it arrived that way. So I got a hold of them and said, hey, look, man, y'all sent me a broken part. I need you guys to send me a new one. They have yet to respond it back. That's okay because the whole kit was 12 bucks. So if they don't respond back, I will just buy a new one. But it is something that holds up the project yet again. Although there's just so much more to do. I hope you guys like it. I hope y'all think that it looks good. So far, I have about $2,500 or so invested in it. And the money just keeps going up and up because I keep finding little things that I need. I need a special little fitting to fit this way. I need a Y fitting, need an L bracket, need this. Oh, great, the radiator doesn't line up properly, so I need a, you know, uh, an adapter bracket for that, an adapter bracket for the reservoir. But I made my own. I made that. The, the bracket that holds the, the reservoir and pump in place, I made that. Um, also, I wanted to keep old parts from it, but I couldn't do that. I had to get a brand new water block, brand new pump, brand new reservoir, brand new radiator to keep any of the old crap out, which that was getting expensive. And then, of course, we've added ring RGB fans all the way around. That right there was a hundred and something dollars and just fans alone and stuff. Oh, look, there's me. Hello. Man, that RGB shine, that's amazing. Oh, let me show you guys what I did to the glass panel. Ooh, you guys are gonna like this. All right, so I put the glass panel on. Now the plastic is still on, but check out the decal. I think that smiling bomb goes perfect with the case. Like, I think it just accents it perfectly. Considering that I call this thing the 10th gen bomb or the 10th gen uh, monster, I think we're gonna call it the 10th gen Titan rig. All right, we got a whole bunch of um, decals, all right, that say Titan Rig on them for us, so that way we can label it correctly. Um, we have Titan Rig right there on the side, and then there'll, there's that right there. I don't know if y'all can see it because the glass is so dark, but inside it says Titan Rig as well. But I wanted to show you that sticker. Um, I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Let me take this back off. There you go. See how it says right there? Titan Rig. And then there it says MSI. And then there it says Titan Rig. Yeah. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a visual a visual update. My wife has a little upset with me because I've basically converted my living room into a build spot. I still have, look at this, I still have all that RGB and stuff to install all those fans I'm gonna install the tr uh, the the temperature sensor gauges and stuff those will have to be installed I still haven't decided if I want to run the second pump or not um, here's the other radiator that I was gonna run but we're not gonna run that because of a lot of little issues mounting brackets don't line up it'd be harder to plumb just so on and so forth but yeah thought I would show you guys it here's the front of it all ring fans them ring fans look amazing when you turn them all on absolutely love it but yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update of what I've been doing um, I'm gonna run some pictures at the end of this so I hope you guys like it we're gonna get this done sooner than later make sure to subscribe and leave me a like and I appreciate you guys for sticking around thank you